Two years since a Cincinnati priest, Jeff Drew, pleaded guilty to raping a 10 year old altar boy multiple times. A second child victim came forward as well, but prosecutors couldn't bring charges in that case because the statute of limitations had expired. Investigative reporter Paula Christian takes a look at Ohio law two years later and if Drew's case has sparked any change. Rebecca Surendorf became a child advocate four years ago after Jeff Drew's arrest. I mean, we're talking about the rape of children. Drew was Surendorf's teacher at St. Jude School in Bridgetown, where two of her classmates were abused in the late 80s and early 90s. Decades later, Drew became pastor of the school where her four children attended, St. Ignatius in Green Township, before his arrest in 2019. We were hopeful that this could have been like a sea change moment in our state. Serndorf hoped that Drew's case would change Ohio's laws, reforming its statute of limitations in rape and child sex cases. There's some powerful institutions that may not want to see it changed. But she realized there is stiff resistance at the state house. One of the biggest critics is Republican Bill Seitz of Green Township. It is unfair to the accused defendant to resurrect events that happened 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. He says statute of limitations reform would expose institutions such as the Catholic Church to lawsuits. Cites his law firm, Dinsmore & Scholl, represented the archdiocese against many allegations of sexual abuse by clergy. Now I know that some people claim, well, <laughs> uh, we have repressed memories but it does not warrant eliminating something that exists for the protection of everybody and something that exists for the protection of uh, institutions which have done a lot of good over the years. Seitz is sponsoring a bill that would make it a crime to groom a child for sexual activity. It also gives prosecutors more time to file charges against mandatory reporters of suspected abuse, such as teachers. He says his bill, which he expects to pass this spring, is a result of the Drew case. Because the folks were concerned that he was being passed around from parish to parish and up to no good to whichever parish he went. Meanwhile, Democrat Jessica Miranda's bill is seemingly stalled in a statehouse committee. So you introduced a similar bill last General Assembly, and what happened with that? Not much. Miranda, a representative from Forest Park, is a survivor of rape and child sex abuse. She wants to repeal the statute of limitations in rape cases and extend it for victims of child sex abuse. I respect the hell out of Bill Seitz, but the fact that he is the one that's been stopping this type of reform from happening for so many years is, is something that we got to talk about. Seitz announced that he will retire from the legislature at the end of this year. Attorney Conrad Kircher is hopeful changes in Ohio law will follow. Well over a majority of the states have reformed their statute of limitations laws in the last five years. And Ohio is just behind the times. But Surendorf says change in the state house will only come when more parents and concerned citizens speak up. And say that we want to protect the children in Ohio, not powerful institutions that have been enabling or covering up abuse here in our state. The Archdiocese of Cincinnati would not comment on the grooming bill or on statute of limitations reform. We will continue to follow this story. Reporting from downtown, Paula Christian, WCPO 9, I-Team.